Many thanks for joining us. I am Rito Omodye. Boxing Day is celebrated 26 December and originates from the 1800s with the rich used to box of gifts to give to the poor. So it is no surprise that a group, Black Diamond Support Foundation, has distributed gifts and fed over 5,000 children living in Lagos slums in a bid to give them a sense of belonging. The event tagged Project 5000 brought thousands of children from across Lagos generally having a good time. The children were given back to school packs, clothes, Christmas gifts and free medicals by medical experts. The organizer, Adefunke Adewumi, says the project is aimed at remembering children living in slums and to give them a sense of belonging, as well as cater to their needs. Now, this is the main idea. Most of them do not even know what Christmas is all about. They don't even have a feeling of this giving and all that. And because we go to this community during the year to do health services for them, free medical, uh, free education, empowerment, sensitization. So just uh, let us gather them together to celebrate like an end of year activity for the foundation as well as for the communities. The organizers added that the foundation, apart from empowering children, also engaged in the fight against rape and child abuse, carried out medical outreaches and empowered the less privileged. They seek on the need for other Nigerians and indeed government to give support to indigent children. All people should come and key into such projects, key into empowerment. Let the government go into the direct community um, development, not going through people because of impunity, because of corruption, where you think the money is going to the community, a lot of things have actually gone wrong in between. So let them have a direct activity to the people that need it. They can actually collaborate with NGOs. The slums, most of them don't have the funds to have good medical care for themselves. In fact, most of them actually wait for this uh, program to come and get free medical care. You can see our medical care going on. They take care of these kids, ranging from malaria to typhoid to the basic um, illnesses we can handle here. And once we can handle, we refer them to um, the general hospital around. Most of these children come from the less privileged environment, which include the slum. So most of them are sick and they don't have any means to take care of themselves. Like now we saw a child that has, that has chronic osteomyelitis. So she will need further evaluation. So like they'll be able to pick up children that are very sick then follow up day after to look after them. Now, as people across the globe from all works of life celebrate